biking up on my way to uh, Daniel uh, Cameraman. I think his name is Cameraman. Uh, his vigil. Uh, it's at 4 30 uh, today on Friday um, up at 96th Street and uh, Fifth Avenue. So this was the pediatrician who was riding a bike and um, was killed by a school bus driver who was trying to pass him on the transverse. Super dangerous. Um, and uh, really is like basically murder. Um, so I'm heading on up uh, to sort of, you know, pay some respects and um, and uh, join with the cycling community, safe streets community to to be there. Um, it's a little cold, but it's not too bad. Definitely a little warmer than this morning. But, ooh, my ears are gonna be, are gonna be rough, pretty rough. But, let's see, wow, this is a sh absolute shit show. Massachusetts driver sitting in the crosswalk, clearly doesn't know how to stop at the stop line, which is right here. He's over there. Pennsylvania drivers over there. Everybody actually blocking the whole goddamn intersection. So I'm gonna just go on through. It's this. This is not okay. It's not your property. It's a bike lane, man. out of my way. It's a bike lane. It's not your property. It's not a loading zone. Um, I think that crap belongs to the hotel there. Hello. Um, I think all city bikes should really have like horns on them. <laughs> you know, like really loud horns. I mean, most cyclists should basically have loud horns. The cop just sitting in the... Well, nobody's in the car. Just sitting in the... In the area, you know? Making it safer by obstructing views and sticking a giant metal car in the middle of everything. Middle of one of the most congested areas on earth during the most congested times of the day. There you see, I don't know if you can see it. Cop car, but it has its lights on. So here's this guy. I don't know if that's the guy, police here. See, there's a cyclist trying to go around, there's people walking around. And now we've got, hey, look, it's a Tesla. Does the Tesla disappear when it's blocking traffic? Does it block traffic less because it's an electric car? No. BMW driving through here. Um, Alright, well we're heading up. Wow. Four, I think, I forgot what the number is. Four or six pedestrians were killed in the last 48 hours. Like, can you imagine? And yet, it's like when you just look around, it's traffic as usual. It's this garbage as usual. People speeding as usual. 
It's obstructing bike lanes as usual. 80092 ML. Just blocking the bike lane. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Oh. That guy? Yeah, that's a guy. Four ones. So I'm gonna go up uh, Central Park. Get in. Uh, where are we now? 36th Street. South Hauling. Crazy. We've let our streets come to this. Georgia plate, EML 449, man, it does make me nervous. I feel like out of state plates make me more nervous. You know, it's, it's like, uh, it's like you don't know if somebody's drunk, you know, in the car. You don't know if they're on drugs or whatever. You know, it's just like a slight Increase in risk, right? Of you're like, oh, who am I surrounded by here? Who are these people? Four ones made it. You drove really fast just so you could stop right here and do nothing. Anyway. So here we are, we're at Bryant Park, here on the right, West 40th Street, 40th and uh, 6th Avenue. That 8A62 was just the one honking there, that was an SUV. Honking at this crowd of a billion people. This weed truck is like there all the time. I don't know if you can see that. Woo! Go ahead and hear it. This guy doesn't see. No, it's okay. You're good. Thank you. He was like, go ahead, if you need to go, go. It's a nice guy. This is what's tough, like when you're biking, you don't know what's obstructing, like you don't know where you're gonna get, uh, kinda caught up in something, right? This crap, double parked, people, you know, the cabs, all them, stopping to pick up a fare, totally reasonable things but no like protected space to do it. So it's all happening kind of totally randomly. And so as a cyclist, you're like in this weird position where you're like, well, you're supposed to stay at the side of the road, but you regularly hit obstructions where you have to get into a middle lane. Um, and obviously it's like much harder as a cyclist to like start and stop. It's not the same as a car. So momentum is your best friend, um, right? And so momentum is your friend. Um, so you never really want to slow down. I mean, you can slow down, but you don't want to stop. 
And so you might say, oh, well, if there's something in your way, like this person right here, well, just stop. Then you're literally just like a sitting duck. Because then you're like a cyclist, just unprotected, right? You're just sitting in the middle of, uh, of 6th Avenue here with, with drivers all going, you know, I don't know how fast this guy's going. 25 miles an hour, maybe? 20 miles an hour? Not that fast, but it's because there's nowhere to go. Um, but you know what I mean? You're, you're sort of stuck. It's like just standing in the middle of the street by your, like, without moving. So movement is important. Um, movement's super important when you're going with the flow of traffic like this. Great, I'm gonna have to inhale the fumes from these buses. Oh, this is cool. Wow, they really corralled everybody in this awful, awful way. This is the most unnatural way to enjoy Rockefeller. Uh, Ray, sorry, Radio City Music Hall and then all this. Uh, Rockefeller Plaza's over there. Where are we here? Thir uh, 50th Street. And here, like, look at this crap. And you got strollers. We have to go up this curb. You have like 100, 200, 300 people all coming. You got this guy who, you know, wanted to be a cop. And he is a cop, but He's stuck doing like crowd control. There's no, there shouldn't be any crowd control. There's no controlling of crowds. Crowds are a beautiful thing. Oh man. So this is, this is where I'm like, all right, I'm not gonna go between, I'm not going between that bus. That's a little scary. I don't wanna do that, but I will go on the inside here. And just hope these guys don't hit me. That's fun. Element of surprise here. Where you're like, is this person gonna open a door? Is that person gonna veer into me? <laughs> no, that's awful. No, it's literally why riding in Europe, in, in the Netherlands, is like just a dream. You don't have this crap all over the place. So I'm excited, we're going to Copenhagen. And unlike the Netherlands and like Amsterdam and a lot of all the, you know, all the major cities in the Netherlands, which are biking like paradises, Copenhagen I think is a cyclist paradise, but it resembles like a much more realistic city. The grit and uh, you know, the cars and, the tra and, and like more, more like raw city kind of elements versus Amsterdam, which is like not really gritty, you know? It's super fun and beautiful. Um, so that's what somebody told me, Doug, who runs the war on cars. He's like, Copenhagen is a real city. Like, that's kind of what he meant, I think. Don't hit me. Everybody's honking. What are you doing, man? Texas LWF 8432-53106MM. This guy hit a red light. I'm gonna just uh, go and ask him what's up. I hope I don't get punched in the face. What the fuck are you doing, man? Why are you in the middle of the road? Do you see a bike lane? Why are you in the middle of the road? Though? Because... The of the road. Oh, right because there's side. obstructions all over. 
Why would you drive at 100 miles an hour it's like an inch away from me? It's not at 100 miles an hour. What? I would have not drove like that. Yeah. I would have got into an accident or hit you. That Dude, you, way, you had to speed past me? I had to swerve around. Dude, come on. Dude. Just don't try to move. Don't swerve like that. So it's either I slow hit. Your, slow your, slow. No, you have a brake. I know how to drive, man. I drive too. All right. If I slam my brakes, look yeah. behind me, just hit me. How One. fast were you going that you have to slam your brakes? You know it's 25 Cab miles an hour, Cab right? Drivers. Yes, and you pull 10 over. All right, man. Look, you seem like a reasonable guy. Please don't do that, though. Sorry about that, right? It's scary. It, it's a really scary experience. Scared, I don't know if you cycle. It scared me, too. Do you too. bike? Yes, but it scared me when I went around you. You just got to be careful there, man. Sorry about that. Because it comes off as, like, murderous, you know, when you're, when you're biking. It's scary. All right. Sorry about that. Cool, man. Thank you. Oh, that guy was very nice. Maybe I was a little extreme. It's all on camera, though, so... <laughs> People are different. Um, that, that'll make for an interesting tweet. Um, so that's fun. So I guess that reveals the massive, uh, like, I don't know what the word is, discrepancy. Hey, Sam. <laughs> um, the like massive differential, I guess, between what, uh, when you have massive speed differentials like that, with speed and mass of the vehicle. It's why somebody standing still and somebody driving just 20 miles an hour right next to them is terrifying or can be makes you feel on edge right and so but from the perspective it's all about perspective from the perspective of the driver that guy was like oh no big deal like I totally had space if I had stopped I would have hurt somebody you know what's the problem I don't think that was a rage, uh, you know, like when people speed and swerve around you and they scream at you afterwards. And that I've seen on, on uh, Twitter and stuff where people do that. They capture it on, the cyclist captures it on camera. Um, um, that does not exonerate that behavior. Like, I don't, I don't understand. If you're like, oh, why are you in the middle of the road? You should be like, wait, there's always going to be something obstructing the space in the middle of the road. That's just traffic. That's called traffic. If it was a car, you know, he sped through. He was going really fast. So I don't really buy that defense, but he softened up. He apologized. I think he probably realized I was filming. I'm not sure. I'll have to look at the footage again. But, uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the kind of shit you got to deal with. I'm sure that guy would be a buddy of mine, you know, and that's the point. Outside of your van or your truck or your car, drivers are people and people are generally good people. I have a lot of faith that that is true. Um, but inside a car, you become psychotic, partly psychotic. You just do. And you absolutely, people just absolutely downplay or don't realize like the kind of power that they have at their fingertips. I'm just amazed, like in order to speed past someone in a terrifying way and nearly hit them. Literally, you're talking about slight movement of your hand, steering wheel, which, right, runs to the wheel, front wheels of the car. You do it slightly, just like an extra inch, and you've killed somebody, you know? Same thing with your feet. 
you're like, yeah, you just sort of press the gas, press it slightly more, and bam, you've just run over somebody at 45 miles an hour. Or you hit a speed that makes your braking distance significantly greater. Right, turn your braking distance to, from like five feet to, you know, 25 feet. And those 20 extra feet are the difference between running through, killing a whole bunch of people, running through a whole bunch of pedestrians out celebrating Christmas, whatever, on the sidewalks that are full and stopping short of the curb. Like that's the difference. And if you don't have, you know, respect for that line, as a driver, you don't realize like how powerful and dangerous vehicles are. You know, the guy was listening to music when I stopped him. I don't think he even realized. I don't think he even thought anything happened. I don't like. I think he was just surprised. Like, why would? I, why? What's the problem? I don't understand. This is something I would do a thousand times. You know, every single time, and not ever have a clue that I did something wrong. And I like. I totally believe that. Anyway. All right, I'm gonna need to break here. Take a little break. Oh, Nelly. Yeah, this is tough. <laughs> oh, wow. By the way, 100% chance that if that guy did that, and I, and he hit me, and I fell under his wheels and was killed, or not. Either way, the police would say, oh, the cyclist hit a van. I was riding, I took up a full lane, full traffic lane. Like, I don't understand how, when you're a bike, what, you fucking disappear? No, if I was a car, you'd be like, oh, this guy like swerved and hit a car, right? You wouldn't blame the car in front. You blame the aggressive driver, right? But when it's a cyclist, cyclist, <laughs> cyclist, he just hit things randomly. You know, that's how we're designed. Like <laughs> when you're riding, like the last thing you would ever want to do is hit anything. Literally, you wouldn't even want to bump anything with a bike. You fall off, right? You'll take a spill. Super dangerous. So this idea that you, you know cyclists just like sort of casually ride and like knock things, you know, hit things and fall, it's so ridiculous. That's just not the way it works. So yeah, if that something happened, they'd probably say, oh, he he must have hit a patch of ice, <laughs> fucking patch of ice. Give me a goddamn break. You can ride through ice, you don't just immediately fall when you touch ice, you know? But that guy, going way too fast, inches from you, will lead you to take uh, and maybe an aggressive maneuver, an evasion, evasive maneuver, right? And that, yes, you could spill, you would fall, right? God help you you fall in the middle of 6th Avenue. And that is literally why we need heavily protected bike lanes, not protected by parked cars, which can easily just park wherever the hell they want, open doors into the bike lane. I don't even like those. It should be cement. And it should be uh, additional pedestrian space, right? Narrow those lanes down until there's almost none. So that you cannot do maneuvers like that. 
because when you can people will that is a fact that is just how it works all right i think i got that out of my system um all right i'm heading up i think we're getting up to 91st pretty soon where i can uh, pop out i'm gonna have to dock the bike I should have told that guy that I was heading up to this cyclist vigil. Like literally right now. Yeah. Do you bike? I don't know. I guess then you're murderous. If you actually do understand how people typically cycle and you don't recognize that streets with no bike lanes force cyclists into the road obviously then either you don't totally understand how to bike like in the city or what kind of problems you encounter or you really just don't care Joseph what's up man how are you? good I'm filming Oh, cool. I'm gonna finish off my. I got a dock. Nice. Uh, I think oh, I can yeah, walk. Oh, started doing the video block thing. Yeah. Is there a station right here? Uh, there is a 93rd. Oh. Or cool. uh. We'll find it. 96th. Okay. Or something. Take the sidewalk. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Just two blocks. I'll go slow. Yeah, there's one right up there. Oh, okay. Um. God damn! I was uh, coming up Sixth Avenue. This is all on camera. <laughs> oh, sure. I mean, uh, you can always edit it. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't edit anything. Okay. This is unedited. It's raw okay. for my three my three viewers. There you go. <laughs> um, but you see we're coming up six. And uh, yeah, this van driver pull just revs and pulls. Up. I'm in the second to left lane. I'm not all the way on the left side, okay. right? Sure. And he he revs and goes right past me. On your left. It's and revs and just you know goes like whatever 50 miles an hour and then hits a red light right right at 59 right at the park so of course i caught up to him i was like let's 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 see what happens <laughs> so i started to confront him and uh i was like dude what are you doing you know and i kind of yelled at him he he's a young guy did he think he was gonna make the light uh no no he was like why are you in the middle of the road okay. and i was like dude do you see a here let me just uh, i'm gonna dock and then i'm gonna i'm gonna come back yeah i'll take it out I just need to recharge here. Yeah. Anyway, wait, let me let me end it off. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs>